Um, and then he, he relaxes a little bit and says, I'm going to be right here in San Diego. I'll be talking to some people who matter, people who come from the East and have something, come, some kind of a brain and understand something about money. I'm going to be drinking some of that tequila I keep hearing about. Get some Russian vodka. Meanwhile, you'll be doing as I say. These, uh, these, these indios you have running around all over the place, right? We, we, these, these people, they're rebelling against the Mexican government. My men are going to interrogate whomever they want. You are going to name people that they can interrogate. The quicker we get information, the quicker our job is done, and then my men can join me in the tequila and whatever, you know, in whatever excuse you have for horse here. So get this done and get it done quickly. Um, and, and Father Ayala, you know, is just beginning to, to raise himself up and say, you will not speak of such things in this house. Um, and, the, and, and so he gives him, you know, the, the response and says, you know, these people are faithful to God. They are faithful to the Mexican government. They have, you know, that they have been, they are citizens here. Um, and you know, we the, the martyrs of the revolution did not die so that you could come and say things like this. So he's, you know, he gives them this this solid speech back, and you realize that Las Cruces is just waiting him out, just waiting him out. Um. I'll stand up and uh, just just walk over to Father Ayala, you know, or you know, maybe he's next to me, and just kind of stand up and, and lean, mm -hmm. and if I can, like, uh, whisper in his ear a little bit, um, and you know, just say, um, Padre, there's no discussing with this man, but just let him have the day, and we can figure out how to handle this amongst ourselves. Go ahead and listen to your little dog then, says Las Cruces. Um, and, and, and he kind of nod, he kind of looks at you in kind of a, you know, good boy kind of way. Um, and then he, he, he just, he says, this, this man here, he's from around here. He's from your stinking shores. Uh, down south, he's from Baja. He knows the lingo here. He knows when you're lying. So he's in charge of the security at this mission, and he is expecting your report. Okay, this, and he says, Mondragon, behave yourself around here for a little while. And then kind of looks back at, at uh, looks back at, at Father Ayala and shrugs and says, convicts. So uh, that th this is an interesting point. Now, the, the name Mondragon is a really super common Mexican name, way up there. I mean, it's maybe not quite Gomez, but really, really common. Um, so just the name itself, in and of itself, under most circumstances, probably wouldn't mean anything to you. Mondragon, convict, Baja. It's worth a second glance. Yeah, you know it. So the question is whether you're going to uh, be, I mean, it's, it's, it's like five, four, three, two, one, because you put yourself forward, right? Mm -hmm. The chance for him to spot you 
yeah. depending on your behavior right now, is real. So the <laughs> question is, what are you going to make of this? Are you going to try to fade back and stay out of the stay out the you know stay out of the range here for the moment, or are you going to wait, whatever? I mean, your behavior is totally up to you. The question is whether <laughs> there's <laughs> conflict. Um, no, I'm going to, um, oh man, yeah, so I recognize him, and... From your old days. Yeah, yeah, and I, uh... He was just as I good at I, it as you were. <laughs> I think there's a heartbeat where I hesitate and, and, like, maybe go to, like, move away from the father to sit down or something, and then I just, um, catch this guy's eye, you know, mm -hmm. and try to, and just uh, give him the look, like... Uh, uh. I know you, you know me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's not, that's not fucking up here. Excellent. So uh, there's no conflict there. Um, so you're not trying to conceal him, conceal yourself. So there's no conflict in dice terms, but the shock of recognition is real. Um, he, he did not expect, he didn't know where you were. Now, what the past history is between the two of you may be left to something that you might want to do with those 30 words in, in a little while. I don't know. Yeah. Or maybe you'll just leave it up to me and never trouble yourself about it. It's up to you. So um, anyway, though, yes, the two of you have spotted and noted each other. Um, Las Cruces listens, you know, finally, finally says, well, thank you for your hospitality. Um, and, and and kind of looks around and and goes uh all respect to the mother church and your mission here he says these are sort of ritual phrases of closing things out um and he says uh and, and so he turns to his corporal and to whoever else except for mondragon and they leave unless you want unless anybody wants to talk to him but that's been your visit from from the army. Yeah, let them go. You know, the, the quicker they can torture out a few so-called confessions, the more they can write the reports, and then settle down to just, you know, enjoying the, the hookers. And that's pretty much what Las Cruces wants out of this whole situation. Um, so there you go. Yeah. So uh, Mondragon says, well, I guess the first thing for me to figure out is uh, where am I staying? Um, yeah, and I'm like, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I put my hand on the on the father's, I mean, on his shoulder, and I'm like, uh, let me handle it. We have we have some uh, some rooms. That uh, I'll show you too, and you can choose he, choose what you like. He kind of looks to the other priests as if they should be taking charge. The other two priests kind of are looking at each other and looking at the father and saying, "We'll, we'll just do. We'll just do whatever. We'll we'll just we'll just manage." Um, <laughs> the, the they're sort of stepping back. They could pour rank on you right now, but they don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm like, you know, this is beneath you. Let me let me handle it. It's just um well, maybe uh, beneath you. in in the next couple of days, unless you want to push it and in terms of something you want to do, but in the next couple of days, um one of them will pack up and go. Okay. Um so uh let's see. Does he disappear? I mean, does he say where he's he doesn't going. really say where he's going. He just, but he just packs up and and leaves and uh, is is fairly swift about his his farewells. Okay. Okay. So, um, I didn't mean to rush ahead. You know, forty eight hours without your permission, though. I'll kick it to both of you to tell me what sort of maneuverings uh, or things you want to look out for that you need to know from me or anything of the kind over the next few days before things happen. Um, well, I'll let, I'll let Christopher go since. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I want to get rid of the money as soon as possible. Good point, um, yeah. And not, not having it back at the house. 
Um, so I think. Um, oh God, we've got lots of things to worry about with you, don't we? I forgot all about this. <laughs> yeah, okay. I screwed up a few things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, so when uh, when uh, I don't get back to the ranch, I think he, the first thing is to just check on this man that was hunted oh, yeah. and get a name. Mm -hmm. uh, and see how, how he's okay well he's quite young he's in his mid 20s um he was not wounded in any major way for example he had not been shot um but he was exhausted and uh probably injured in minor ways that you would be from the experiences um yeah and uh, maybe some minor burns or, you know, twisted wrist or something like that. So um, he has been taken care of. The first person who will talk with you upon your return and getting some rest and, you know, getting yourself presentable again and everything like that. The first person who would like to have a word with you is, in fact, your wife, Luna. Yeah. Um, certainly. Um, so she wants to report to you that our guest uh, has been given a, a clean room. Uh, he... She mentions as how, you know, your clothes that had clearly, you know, the, the, the stains and smells of black powder discharge on them and she kind of she neutrally states as how that's all been cleaned up or is in the process of being cleaned up and the, the horses you know are being monitored and taken care of like two horses that just rode hell mell you know pell mell all over the landscape for an evening for all night should be taken care of so she in her neutral fashion has managed to list a catalog of all the terrible things that you've been <laughs> you've been getting up to <laughs> without ever actually coming out and saying what the hell were you doing riding all over the landscape and shooting guns for last night she doesn't quite put it that way um yeah. but she also says you know the guest is is resting comfortably and and says with a certain amount of that icy neutrality he seems to have a good appetite and it's good. It's good, to, good to eat and good to rest and uh, get yourself back together. And I think I smile at her at the same sort of unusual smile that mm -hmm. recognizes that everything she has said and everything she has mentioned. And I just said, say that I know, the, I know I was way late last night. This a storm is coming and I'm trying to handle it. I don't know if I managed, but but I try. Uh, she'll actually step close to you and put her cheek next to you and say quietly um, that uh, she says what what you need what you need managed or organized let me know we can do this we can do this together so they're a little more affectionate than her previous interaction. Yeah. I put my arms around her and I say, I know, I know, I will let you know when the time comes. Excellent. And she sweeps out like, you know, like a force of nature out of the room. So, um, okay. So uh, that's that's your news as to the this person do you want to go talk to him what, what yeah i want i want to go talk to him um and see where he was heading uh and i'll talk to him mm -hmm. about this mm -hmm. um and i also uh so, so i come in there and i the first thing i i say is uh welcome our ranch. I hope you you have have eaten well and, and rested. Uh, the bag you carried last night. How did you come into possession of it? He says I took it from those pigs. 
I, I took it from I... them, and we, and we punished the ranch that was helping them. And I have to say on my honor that I will make no threat toward you and yours. But I am just one man. And Senor, I can tell you, this fine ranch was not once yours, has not always been yours. And it won't be for long. It says, uh, my word will, my word will keep you and your family from attack. But I cannot stop what is coming, and I would not if I could. It says, what I took, that's valuable to us. I can say that. But it gives us a kind of kind of problem to solve, does it not, Senor? It's not yours. I cannot let you have it, and I certainly cannot let you give it back. Oh, giving it back is um, that's uh, not an option anymore. So. You, he, he will, kind of, he, he kind of, he kind of looks at you and says, "But you will, they were you chasing will me. They, you, what? He, yeah, he, he can't bring sure. himself to ask what happened. But he clearly is kind of like, wait, the army's not coming. <laughs> no, I, I he sure didn't really expect that. He's like the, <laughs> he, 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 that that threw him. He's like, but." What are you saying? Uh, I just tell him that, that we showed him off the property and, uh, and leave it that. I won't go into the details with him about it. And you're not worrying about the army coming to track your ass back here and, 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 okay. Perhaps we should. Uh, okay, he says it's, it's been rude of me. I am Cristobal, and I am willing to negotiate. I think, although now that's rude, I am a guest, and you have been kind. But when the time comes, we may make some kind of accommodation. I nod, and um, that was something I was hoping for. I didn't know if I could, who I should talk to, but if that person is you, then... He, he says, I would like to say it's me, but mm -hmm. I have to be. <laughs> he says, I must be sincere with you. There are there are older and wiser people who really would who really would be the right ones to talk to. I we need that money, but most importantly, we need the Mexican not in kind of stumbles because you are a Mexican national. We need them not to have that money. I can see that. When the army breaks here, or some of it breaks apart here, then our goals can be met. We don't. I I can tell you this. I take no joy in destroying property and ranches and destroying farms. I don't take delight 
in shooting people in the houses where they live. But I will do it. I want to do it as decisively as possible for the rest of you to understand that these lands are not yours.